guys and welcome back to my channel today we're in the greenhouse it's a rainy day I wanted to show you what we've planted so before we jump into that please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time keep an eye out for another craft one that's due to come out I've got to do that and there will be a small grocery haul one coming out as well so keep your eyes open for both of those right let's jump into today's vlog okay look at these we have spring onions we actually planted these in January and these were done Crikey, that was in the autumn and I've managed to overwinter them in the greenhouse. So they're looking okay. And here we have, let's have a look, some cress, extra curled. You don't need to be in the greenhouse for these. You can grow these on your windowsill in your kitchen. Unfortunately, not enough room on my windowsill in the kitchen. And then you've got the plain cress, so they can be harvested at any point. They're great to go in a sandwich or sort of thrown into a salad. All right, where do we start? Okay, we, me and my son got eager the other day, so we planted these ones, the ones what hasn't got anything in, and we planted a cucumber, that one's called Dar. Cucumber Baby F1, Cucumber Carmen, there's only about one seed in each, we just thought we'd see what happens if we plant them early. Got some tomato tigrella, we've got a foot long chilli, cayenne pepper, tomato roma, cabbage Dutchman F1, a serrano chilli pepper, what is that? I think that's an an ancho chili. Cauliflower year round. Chocolate pepper. That's that. Okay, and what have we got grown? We've actually got some rocket. I'm really pleased with that. We've got some red salad bowl. Let's have a look. Get out of the other pot. That's those ones. Um, what's those? Got a load of calendula coming up. I'm excited for those. Uh, what else have we got? Got another calendula that's art shades, and this one is can't read. Can't even read my own writing. How's that? I've got calendula again, that's bullseye. So we've got three different types of calendula here. Uh, what have we got? We've got some salad leaf. We've got some endive. We've got some more salad leaves. That's crispy lettuce one. There, we've got some nasturtiums. My favourite garden snack. And they're doing really well, actually. Most of these were planted in January, the same time as the crescent. The spring onions. Words are so hard today. Planted some watercress, it hasn't come up. Basil hasn't come up. Comfrey looks like I've got one come up. Oregano looks like it's coming up. And I said some of them haven't come up yet, some of them might not, because it was early. We've got land cress, love those. That's lettuce. That's the Arctic King. That looks like something's been chomping there. Hmm. They haven't come up. That's more salad leaves. That's spinach. There. What have we got here? Lettuce. Freckles, love that lettuce. I grew it for the first time last year and absolutely loved it. I think that's the Lolo Rosso. 
Rebecca, Betis. I can't even read. That's a beet leaf over there. That's more salad leaves there. So I'll be able to chomp on them really soon. That's some coriander. Pleased with that. And then we've got some mint, sweet basil, some more lettuce. They haven't come up yet. I'm going to take the cover off because I've been covering it with like bubble wrap and place. But I'm going to leave the cover off this time. So, oh, and then I grew some bean shoots. Their time to be chopped and eaten, so I must remember to do those and those. I have to do that for a, a salad or something during this week, so if I can use some of this up. So, right. Woo, look at that root growth. Hell yeah. That's baby. Nasturtium is baby. Baby orange, I think it says. So, yeah. We'll soon be able to start chomping on all of these. Real soon. So I might try, when it's not raining, to transfer some of these lettuce and spinach leaves out in one of the troughs out in the garden. Um, to allow it to grow more. It does have a plastic cover over the top, so that would work for that, which is unthankful. But guys, you know, spring is in the air. It's time to start planting. Um, once I've, I'm hoping maybe by the weekend I'll be able to come out and plant some more bits. Need to start some veggie seeds. So, Maybe I'll bring you along for that to see you, so you can see me starting to plant. And that would be good. I've still got the peppers from last year in here, extremely moth-eaten. They really do need just clearing out and starting again, but I've not got round to that yet. But, you know, it's okay. I'm not worried about the peppers. I'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh. Have any of you been in your garden? Have you started any of your seeds yet? Um, peppers need to be starting them. Peppers very, well, they need to be done. I think peppers could have been done in February. So if you haven't planted your peppers, start thinking about it real soon. And the same as a lot of your lettuce can be planted in March. Just make sure you've got some covering over them. Just to watch them temperatures. Some place fabric or bubble wrap and like that over the top. If you know it's going to get down close to freezing, but it'll be fine. Are so you lot excited for the garden season? I am. I normally spend so much time out here. But it's coming guys. Spring is so close. So close. But I'm so pleased. We'll be munching on salad and that very soon. I've got plans for a garden. I'm hoping to go over that. I have put um is there any about a week maybe two weeks since I planted these but I also planted outside um, what did I plant I planted several different carrots in just a line in one of the beds in the same bed we planted two or three rows of peas it's two rows of peas and it's two or three carrots I think radishes and beetroot just one line so that is helpful 
So if it stops raining, I'll be able to show you. It might not be on this vlog. It will probably be on the next one because I'm not going out in the rain. Not unless I have to. I'm lucky my back door is right, <laughs> right close to my greenhouse. I put the greenhouse in the right place for myself. <laughs> but we've had some damage to this greenhouse. Um, I can't show you. But down here, there's a hole been chewed through, and again over there. I am not impressed with it being chewed through. Um, I've just received something from the post actually that I can show you that I'm going to do because we've got one um, rodent deterrent. Let me see if I can find it. That's the one rodent deterrent that we've got and it's all solar panelled. That has seemed to have kept them at bay most of the time. As I said, it doesn't come into the greenhouse because obviously the plastic's in the way for the the waves and that. So that's a pain. Um, but as I say, I've got something new, which then I take the indoors and I can show you that. Okay. See you in a minute. Okay. This is what I've just received in the post today. Solar Sonic Rodent Propellers. And they look like that. Oh my goodness. They're noisy. Yep, there's four in there. Hopefully, there will they will work. And these were on Amazon. I think they were twenty five ninety nine. It's a four pack. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is put them in four separate beds and hope that helps. Because one of the beds is right next to the greenhouse, so I'm hoping by putting it there it might actually help the greenhouse as well. With any luck. And then the second thing I've got in is what I'm going to be crafting with some resin. Which are these the hair pins that you put in and secure your hair. So they are all different. I've got a set, I think there was about £8. And they're all slightly different. It's like a half butterfly. That one's the bigger butterfly one. And these were from June, which is very similar to Wish. So can't wait to make some of these up and take, uh, take you along for that journey. That'll be absolute fun. I love resin and I love hair bits. So aren't they cool? They are so pretty. And I don't think they're going to take an awful lot of resin. They're not overly deep. So. Okay. As you can see, my little microgreens, one that have started to shoot, the others haven't quite yet. My sweet potatoes are doing very well. As you can see, they're starting to shoot, so that's good. Right. I think that's it guys, I, as those little microgreens and that start coming up a bit more I will show you the same as the sweet potatoes, I thought I would show you on how they look and I think that is it for this vlog, 
So, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing as we're bringing out new content all the time. And keep your eye open for a grocery haul. It's only a small one and a craft one because you won't, won't want to miss me making those hairpins. Okay, and if you like this video, please give it the big thumbs up. So, until next time, guys. Bye!